Break free from the typical hotel or motel room and explore all Arizona has to offer. The July issue of Arizona Highways Magazine features 20 of the state's best bed and breakfasts and inns to enjoy after a, I don't know, maybe a long day of exploring. So joining me now to share a few of those places is our friend Robert, the editor-in-chief over there at the magazine. Yeah, Good hey. to have you. Glad to be back. Okay, so we're getting out of the heat. Yeah, Presumably. most cases, yeah. I mean, there we have some down in Tucson, but uh, for the most part... Hey, it's are, like 10 degrees cooler there. Uh, yeah, you we'll know what? We'll take anything we can get. Well, and some of these places are so nice, you don't really need to go outside. So, okay. you know, you can explore or you can just hang out. What was the premise of, of trying to find these places? Well, you know, our mission is to promote travel around the state. And, you know, it means seeing the Grand Canyon and Sedona and all the places, but you need to know where to stay as well. Right. So, and, and to your point, it was, you know, you know, there's a lot of great motels and hotels around the state, but we were looking for something a little more... Uh, you know, taking it up a notch, I guess. Well, I think sometimes you need to be reminded that it's out there, and so I think this is, serves as the reminder. So let's yeah, bring up the first example. This is the Adobe House that you wanted to recommend. And where is this located? This is in uh, uh, Yuma, actually. Uh, again, not maybe a hot spot in the summer. Well, it is a hot spot this summer. Maybe not a hot destination. But uh, actually, some, some great history over in Yuma, and if you're headed that way, or maybe just keep this one in the back of your head for, for this fall. Uh, this is the Adobe House, as you mentioned, and it's a beautiful B&B &B over there in uh, Yuma. What made, what, what made it a standout in your mind? Well, you know, I mean, when you're, when you're looking for something that makes the list, it's sort of a combination of things, the amenities that they have there, uh, sort of the, 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 the people who run it, you know, the, the host of that's them. That's key. Yeah, that's such a big part yeah. of it, and the people at the Adobe House are passionate about what they do, and they, they will definitely make your stay enjoyable. I would imagine the same as could, be, could be said about El Tovar, because I've heard great things about that. I've not been there, but I've heard, for years, I've heard great things about that place. Yeah, El Tovar is sort of the granddaddy of all inns in the state and, and actually around the country as far as national parks go situated right on the on the south rim of the grand canyon uh, so you know you've got the beautiful lodge there but right outside the front door um, is is one of the seven natural wonders of the world what, we, what you're seeing there is actually the lobby as you walk into el tovar and um, there are, are limited rooms there. I mean, it's the kind of place where you have to book well in advance or, or take the other uh, approach where you sort of call the day before and hope there was a cancellation. But uh, definitely worth visiting. And even if you can't get in, to spend the night there. There's a restaurant and a, and a little bar in there, so it's a great place to and hang out. And nothing sets the stage for just really get in into the ex experience than, you know, taxidermy deers <laughs> when you walk in. You know, you then can't. Then you know no you've got, gotten yeah, out of your comfort yeah, zone. Yeah, no such thing as too many mounted deer heads. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, how about the Verde River Rock uh, location? Yeah, the Verde River Rock House is up in Payson, and that's a nice spot. You, you talked about exploring if you're up hiking on the Mogollon Rim uh, this summer or camping up there. Uh, um, be smart about fire, by the right. way. Uh, obey those restrictions. But the, this, this place is great. It's built right into this rocky uh, sort of hillside there. And, and uh, what you, you know, they mounted zebras. <laughs> that really wasn't was, one of the... I wasn't going to go there, but if you did, then One that, of the prerequisites of this story, you had to have, had something, to have mounted. something mounted on the wall. <laughs> but actually a great place to, to spend the night if you're, if you're exploring up in that neck of the woods. And then lastly, where are you taking us to... Um, well, I don't know for sure which, this is which image. El Rancho Merida? I think this is it, yeah, El Rancho Merlita. This was actually the home of a cosmetics queen known as, her name was Merle Norman. And this was no her, way. yeah, this was her home down in Tucson. And um, it eventually fell into the hands of the current owners, and they've turned it into a, an amazing B&B. It was actually uh, rated one of the te 10 most romantic B&Bs in, in the country. Uh, so it's, it's a beautiful spot, a, a cool property. And again, you know, you might not think of Tucson in the middle of summer, but it is a little cooler down there. Uh, if you go exploring up in the Catalinas, it's very cool up in the mountains, and it's a great place to spend the night. Okay, so your, your last bit of advice, though, if we are not going with, say, the tra chains, and we're doing the B&B &B mm -hmm. or something that's more locally owned, is there... Is there anything that we should be, you know, cognizant of or the well, best way to kind of really enjoy our, our, our visit? You know, so there's so much range out there, you know, and it, I think this is a good starting point. Look at this issue. Um, you know, Google it a little bit. You can hear what people are saying about things. I mean, we did a lot of research. We looked at it from a lot of different angles. There's a B&B &B association in Arizona, mm -hmm. and, and to get into that association, you have to meet certain criteria, so that's also a good, good resource. Honestly, if I'm being honest, if I open up an Arizona Highways magazine, it's in there. 
<laughs> that's all the credentials I need. Well, thank you. That's kind of <laughs> how we feel, too. And that's sort of our, our role here in the state. So if, if, if we've got it in the magazine, go for it. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Steph. The kiddos are how old now? Uh, seven and a half months. Seven and a half months. Twins! Yes. Oh, my gosh. Crawling all <laughs> over the place, I bet. Well, the July issue of Arizona Highways is in stores now. Pick one up or sign up for a subscription even better. We'll have all the information on how to do so on sonoraliving.com.